George Painter. At approximately 12.30 a.m. on May 17, 1891, 36-year-old George Painter came running out of the room he rented at 86 South Green Street in Chicago, Illinois, and told fellow boarders that his wife had been murdered. He ran out the front door looking for a police officer. At the crime scene, police found the blood-soaked body of Alice Martin, George's common-law wife. They arrested George immediately. After the death of his first wife, George met Alice in Chicago. After living together for a year and a half, George discovered that Alice was cheating on him. The couple reconciled, but George began to abuse alcohol. Neighbors told reporters that George beat Alice and that she seemed too good for him. Others claim that Alice was a prostitute. George denied that he ever beat Alice. On the night of Alice's murder, George claimed to have been at Schiller's Saloon until it closed at 12 a.m. and adamantly denied killing Alice. The police interrogated him and were about to let him go when Captain Martin Hayes noticed some blood on George's overcoat. George was found guilty and sentenced to death by hanging. No murder weapon was ever found, so police assumed that she was strangled and her head was beaten against the bedpost until she was dead. George's execution was postponed for the first time by the Illinois Supreme Court, who later upheld the conviction after George asked to be hypnotized in order to better remember the details of the night of the murder. George's execution was postponed again on January 11 so that his lawyers could continue to prove his innocence. This came after several prominent members of the community petitioned the governor. George was finally hanged on January 26, 1894, but the execution did not go as planned. George's hands were handcuffed behind his back and his legs were strapped together at the thighs and ankles. A white robe and hood were placed over his clothes and the noose was fastened around George's neck. The trap door was opened and George's body began to fall. When the rope fully extended, it snapped throwing George off the platform and onto the ground in front of the witnesses. The jailers carried him back up onto the platform and fastened a new noose around his neck. By this time, blood was starting to soak through George's hood and run down his white gown. George had landed on his head when he hit the ground and was bleeding from the wound. George was hanged for the second time at 8.03 a.m. and pronounced dead at 8.07 a.m., although he was most likely dead before he was strung up the second time. After the botched execution, the jailer told a reporter that they had tested the rope the night before with a 200-pound sandbag. They had no indication that the rope might fail with George attached to it. Please visit www.icantbelieveitsnonfiction.com and don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.